Hi, this is Mike, back again with another video in our series of videos surrounding machine learning courses in the UK. And in today's video, I have the privilege of talking about UCL's MSc in machine learning. It is actually quite a difficult course to get onto, as with many courses unfortunately nowadays surrounding machine learning. The reason being machine learning is one of the fastest growing industries in the UK, let alone the world. If we look at the 2023-2024 cycle, there were 639 applicants, 103 offers were made, and there were only 66 accepted offers. That gives an acceptance rate of about 10%. So in, we can see it's incredibly competitive. However, given the expertise that we've accrued from a vast number of tutors from the profs, 98% of which already have a postgraduate degree and 100% of them have already been working as a tutor for two years at least, including myself, we are more than ready to help you for any surrounding anything involving this application. Here are my top five tips on how to get onto this course at UCL. My top tip that I'm gonna be starting off with is making sure that you have a very strong academic background, ideally across the board. It is UCL, so we are talking pretty competitively. So you probably wanna be aiming for the best grades you can possible. However, as a minimum, they do state a minimum of two one for an undergraduate degree. But it's got to be in something related to machine learning. It's got to be in something like maths or computer science or engineering or even something like physics. As long as it's within the field of STEM, then a 2-1 is perfectly acceptable. Still though, that doesn't necessarily make you stand out from the crowd. So if you really want to be above your peers here, aim for that first. Try to do as well as you can with all of the modules that they have on offer. And that will help you in building your portfolio, so to speak, or your application for going onto a course like this. You also want to be able to demonstrate that you have very good mathematical grounding. And this is something you need to do in every course surrounding machine learning. So for instance, you need to show that you're strong in linear algebra, in calculus, in probability. Um, courses like these, if they aren't available on your degree based on what you're doing, then you may want to be taking extra courses or extra workshops in these skills. But there are certain areas of mathematics you need a very strong foundation in, in order to even just attempt machine learning. So make sure on the mathematical side of things, you are strong, but also make sure that regardless of what degree you're doing, you are achieving the best grades you possibly can. Now, tip number two might be a little bit more obvious to you you have to make sure that your programming skills are top notch. And it's not necessarily the number of languages that is gonna get you a, a really impressive application here. It's more so the choice of variety of languages that is gonna be really, really important. And as well as the depth of algorithms that you work with in each of these programs. So uh, Python is perhaps the most common language that you could be working with but you might have also had a little bit of experience working with uh, C++, or you could perhaps be working with Julia a little bit more, or Java. Yes, you can mention all of these things in your personal statement, but make sure that you've got perhaps project work to be able to back that up, or skills that you developed that with, either in the personal statement or in the CV, if you do not have the room. Um, you also might want to be talking about machine learning packages that you'd be working with. For instance, you might want to mention TensorFlow, or PyTorch, or Scikit-Learn, or Keras even. Uh, Python packages that are all really, really important for machine learning um, to work with in Python. So stating those things is really, really good, um, acts as really, really good evidence. We don't really want a situation where you tell me exactly what I'm meant to be reading from those experiences. Rather, it's better for you to use those experiences as a justification for why you love machine learning. But the only way that you can do that, and the best way that you can do this through practice, is by getting those top grades. Moving on to tip number three, 
make sure that you have relevant work experience, if possible, uh, in research or industry. The research aspects of things is going to be perhaps a little bit more challenging, but one place you can look already towards is your dissertation. Did you do anything in machine learning in your dissertation that really, really links perhaps with a module that you could be taking in the MSc machine learning course at UCL? If yes, great. You can use that as a motivation to actually do the curriculum, or you could at least say, I admire UCL's curriculum for how they progress in a particular area of their degree, such as computer vision, which I heavily worked on during my dissertation project surrounding this material. Now, I know I've spoken about that very generally, but already that is a very good template of a sentence to start off with if you were to draft it for the first time. So, make sure in that sense the research experience you have is relevant, it's going to help you a lot. Industrial experience is a little bit trickier to get with machine learning, but will also benefit your application should you get it. It doesn't necessarily have to be machine learning that you have internship experience for. It could be just something to do with computer science, but anything that develops your programming abilities or shows them off in a real world setting is going to be what really counts in an application to UCL. So to help you with the CV, to help you with the personal statement, make sure your research and industry experience is top notch. Now coincidentally, what I just said leads into my fourth point in this list, and that's actually make sure that your personal statement is strong. The writing of the personal statement is a big process in of itself, I've never seen anybody in my many, many years working as a tutor write a personal statement perfectly on their first try. You have to be prepared to draft and redraft and redraft. And a lot of that is sometimes to do with have you covered the right content? Have you written enough about a particular topic? Have you connected everything in your personal statement to make it sound cohesive? We definitely don't want your personal statement to sound like a list of achievements that you are just spouting off to make yourself look impressive. What we really want is a really strong idea of why you are doing this course or why you want to do that. And that could involve you as well, actually including a five year career plan. Now in comparison to other universities, it doesn't need to be as rigorous, but if I was an admissions uh, tutor, I do want to understand, or I do want to see some reasoning of maybe that this degree is really important for you to take because you intend to join this company in this position at this desk within the first few months of finishing your degree or you basically even could say that one day you want to be able to reach a certain profession after a few years and you believe that the curriculum, teachings, and extracurricular experiences at UCL is more than adequate, in fact, the best that you can achieve in reaching those goals. You want to state these goals early, and you want to connect everything you write about with what you want to do in the future. So make sure that you understand that in order to ace your personal statement but don't get too frustrated if you can't get the perfect personal statement on your first try. Moving on to my final tip, and I'm saying this in a lot of my videos, I know, but it's super, super important, especially with a university like UCL, make sure you have strong references. You do want to be turning up to all your classes. You do want to facilitate really good conversations with a lot of your professors. Um, for UCL, you do mainly want academic references. You may benefit with having a, a professional reference as well. Have you been lucky enough to do an internship within your undergraduate degree? But what you don't want to do is go cold on your professors, your personal tutors, your dissertation supervisor, if you really want to get the best out there. It could be that if you are in this position when you haven't necessarily talked to your intended referees for a long time, Arrange a Zoom call or Skype call, or even better, if you're nearby, try and meet up with them in person, maybe over a little bit of coffee. Just explain that what your relation was to them, because they are busy people, they can forget about their students, 
sometimes. Um, and also what you want to do in the future and what you would then like them to do is courteous to ask actually whether they are okay with being a referee and the earlier the better because that gives a little bit more time for both you and your referee to be able to perfect those references. For a course like UCL with machine learning, you wanted to talk about sort of technical experience. The best people to validate your technical skills are gonna be the people that have supervised the projects you've been on or have overseen modules that you've studied. In fact, like with many universities, at UCL are gonna be looking at your references before the rest of your application. So you really want these to be good. You want to be in good standing with your referees, try to facilitate regular contact. Um, but if not, try your best to reach out to them and make sure that the time you make yourself available for them is flexible around their schedule. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to get into UCL for MSc in machine learning. Obviously, I haven't had as much time as I would have liked to talk about all of the tips I would have recommended for this course, but should you want more information, make sure to take a look at the links on screen right now that can take you to one of our amazing admission suitors at the props. If you're interested in any other courses surrounding machine learning, do take a look at our YouTube channel. But until we hear from you, best of luck with your application.